having understood the various warning signs that can occur soon after transfusion of blood components now it is important to see what are the major adverse reactions which give rise to these warning symptoms and signs that we just discussed now when we try to understand about the adverse reactions following blood transfusion we can broadly classify them into immune mediated and non immune mediated now when you look at immune mediated i've already told you a lot of recipient antibody versus donor antigen donor antibody versus recipient antigen so what were they they were febrile non hemolytic transfusion reaction and then you had uh, hemolytic transfusion reaction and then of these febrile non hemolytic transfusion reaction is the most common adverse effect following transfusion then so these two you have the recipient antibodies which act against donor antigen then you have uh, gvhd and uh, you have these trali in both of these instances it is the donor antibodies which act against the recipient antigen then of course you have allergic reactions here again it is the recipient antibodies which act against the uh, various antigens present in the donor's plasma and then uh, post transfusion papira again it is the uh, recipient antibodies which are the targeted at the platelet antigens in the donor and then you have albuminization which is again going to be the recipient antibodies recipient develops antibodies to various antigens being uh, exposed in the donor's blood component so these are the various immune mediated adverse reactions you have hemolytic febrile non hemolytic allergic trali gvhd post transfusion papira and albuminization what are the non immune mediated adverse reactions you have taco transfusion associated circulatory overload which is non immune mediated it just happens because of that volume overload it is basically a volume overload state as a result of transfusion then you have massive transfusion associated reactions 